Hello, my name is Jamie Margolin. I'm an 18 year old climate justice activist, organizer, and author. But today I am not coming to you as any of those things. I am simply coming to you as a fellow human who is stuck in quarantine now during the coronavirus pandemic. Now, as soon as schools closed, my first thought was to all of the LGBTQ plus kids who are now going to be at home, maybe in unsafe living situations with family that they are not out to or with family that does not accept them. Now, I am in a situation that is positive because I am already out of the closet as gay to my family and they are loving and accepting um, of who I am and so I am safe. But I know that that is not the case for a lot of LGBT kids. So I am sending so much love and support to all of the queer kids who are stuck in quarantine with family that does not accept you. So here are some tips, I guess, for survival um, or making it through this dark time. If you are a queer kid who is currently in a situation where you are quarantined with people who are not LGBT friendly and do not accept you, number one is know that the storm will pass. I know that there are times where it will be so difficult and you will feel so hopeless that it'll feel like this quarantine and this coronavirus thing is going to last forever, but please know that every storm passes and so just hunker down, do the absolute best that you can, be compassionate with yourself and just please keep reminding yourself that this is temporary. Number two is stay in touch with your LGBT community, with friends who accept you and love you and with people who love you for who you truly are online. So text, call, chat, don't let yourself fall into isolation, don't close yourself off to people. Use technology to stay in contact with community that loves and accepts you as much as you can. Also use that technology to watch LGBT friendly content and movies and videos, just things to remind you that there is a world outside of your unsafe situation and that there is a community out there who still loves you and is with you even if it's just virtually. Finally, number three, do whatever you need to do to stay safe. Um, this applies different situations to different households, but do whatever you have to do to stay safe while you're quarantined with people who don't accept you. So I just want you to know that I'm sending so much love, support, and solidarity to all of the LGBT kids during this hard time. Sending love.